Hello everybody and welcome back to Learning the Acoustic Guitar Part 14. Um, I don't even have a title for this one yet, but we're going to continue talking about left hand technique. Um, I'm going to teach you the, the melody and just talk about my improvs, I, the guitar meditations on my channel, those are all um, just melodies I formed from, from practicing with my metronome and then I practice for a couple days and I'll go ahead and record uh, just an improv. Nothing like I said, I, what I do is I typically get one or two melodies, maybe pick a couple chords, um, and then just really just improv and see what I can come up with. But what, the, what I was just playing for you there, and is the first, first theme of the piece, is just the Mixolydian major scale pattern. The Pick any note on the low E string, and then two consecutive from that first note, you go two consecutive whole steps. And then on the D uh, G string, you take your first finger um, a half step up from the whatever whatever note you started on. And again, I'm not gonna, you should know the major scale pattern for this video. And then you go, uh, half step whole step on the D and G strings and then you move your your first finger up a half step for the um, the B and high E strings and you go whole step half step on each of those strings and the melody for that for that piece is you play the middle note, each, each string is a three note string for that scale. You play the middle note, then the higher up note, and then the lower note on the string. So this is fret middle finger, finger fret five, index finger fret three, pinky finger fret seven. And then you jump over the to, you jump over the A string to the D string, and you play that same middle note, higher note, higher note, first finger note, and then the lower note. And then from the D string, you go, you ascend, or you descend, and you go back to the A string. And then you jump the next, it's the, the, the pattern is the same. You always jump one string when you're ascending the scale. You jump over the string, do the middle note, the higher note, the lower note, and then go uh, descend the scale one string. You don't skip any strings on that one. And then you just play it through the whole scale. And so that's, that's, I would say, the first major theme that I have in that piece. Um, the second thing I wanted to talk about is just more nuance for the left hand technique, is what I call pulsating notes, and I'm um, just keeping your fingers close to the string. In the previous lecture or lesson, or one of the previous lessons, we talked about strengthening our left hand and keeping that left hand thumb curved on the back of the guitar. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, the other thing you want to focus on is minimum movement f during your transitions. You want to keep your fingers as close to the strings as you possibly can. So I'm just going to play through a couple with my metronome now just to show you me practicing. I'm going to keep my left hand literally, again, I want whatever, the f any note that you fret throughout the middle of a piece or throughout a run or whatever you're doing, you want to keep complete dexterity where you can go ascending or descending whenever and the tip of your finger is touching the, the minimum amount of the guitar. So that's just me f consciously focusing on keeping my uh, left hand as close to the strings as I can when I'm transitioning notes. Um, and to, for pulsating notes, 
let's let's talk about setting a note, playing a note, and loading a note. The first note, well, actually, just just forget that. When you strike any note, let's say just that the first the middle finger fret five low E string, you want to catch the the string with the other side of the pick and, and have that set to move wherever. And then for the left hand, as you do that, as you strike the note and then catch it, catch the string with the other side of the pick, you're pulsating, you're pulsing the left whatever digit's fretting the note. kind of a new technique for me. Um, I have a lot of fret buzz with that, but again, I think it gives it a really cool sound. And those are the only, those are the only two, I do a lot of uh, triplets in that as well, but that's just a right hand technique. Um, that's just... And you can, you can practice that catch, catching the note with the pick to build to triples or quadruples or whatever. So there you have it. Those are the two major melodic themes in Guitar Meditation 7 and some more ideas for your left hand development. Thanks for watching.